I got an email from a YouTuber that wanted to know how FM discriminators work or demodulators. Well, here's a typical one. It happens to be from that Zenith radio. And at the heart of it is this tank circuit. And what we want to do is take this FM signal. Notice that the amplitude is not changed, but the frequency is changing. And somehow detect that signal and make it into an audio signal. Let's take a closer look at that tank circuit. Both sides have been tuned to 10.7 megahertz. And here's a graphic that shows the peak at 10.7 and if you take a look at that graphics you'll notice that if we decrease the frequency our voltage decreases then if we go back to center we're at the top again but if we increase the frequency you'll notice that the voltage decreases okay here's an IF can and this time I've got both my generators on. And I've got the scope hooked to the secondary of this IF can. And both the generators are hooked to the primary. I just have one on right now. Okay, I've still got the carrier on, and what I'm going to do is lower the frequency, and you can see that it definitely lowers the voltage when I go off the center, and likewise when I go up in frequency, the voltage lowers. Okay, now I'll get this to about peak. Okay, now on this tank circuit, let's uh, apply an FM signal on the primary and we'll take a look and see what it looks like on the secondary. Now the way I've got this other generator hooked up, it's going to add and subtract from the frequency and we'll see that as amplitude modulation at the secondary of the IF can. Or another way to say it is I'm going to FM modulate the primary and what we'll have on the other side is amplitude modulation. Okay, there we go. Because that second generator is slightly adding and subtracting from the carrier frequency. So when we put an FM signal on the primary side, we get audio information on the secondary side. Let's take a closer look at the discriminator circuit and see how they use that audio information. Let's take a look at the secondary winding and let's set up the scenario that at this point in time the top of the coil is positive and the bottom is negative and what that means is 
the diode on the left side of the tube is going to conduct and it's going to detect that half of the audio signal. Here's the other half. Now the secondary winding is negative at the top and positive at the bottom and with this potential the diode that is associated with the cathode now conducts and now we have both halves of the audio signal. In most AM radios the detector just uses half the signal but in FM discriminators they use both halves of the audio signal. Let's take a closer look at these two capacitors. What they're doing is draining off any RF left on that audio signal. And if you notice that uh, those two capacitors in the 100K ohm resistor make up a pi filter. Now down at the dot zero zero one it's strictly audio now and that gets switched over to the audio amplifier. This all works because of the highly tuned tank circuit at the center frequency of 10.7 megahertz and when the FM signal varies from center, the voltage varies.